Now, Leanne, we're going to start with you because you have got a big job today, cleaning out the garage. Yeah, you bet, Tracy. And I don't know if you actually remember, but we did the garage makeover here at my own house almost four years ago. I can't believe how fast time has flown. And I have to say, for all the projects I've done over the years, this is the one that I still get the most questions about. Everybody wants to know, is it still clean? For the most part. Is the floor still in great shape? And it absolutely is. And just people generally wanting to know how I organize everything and what products I use to stay organized. I have to say, this is one of those situations, it's like when companies coming over, you clean up. Does it always look this clean? No, but everything has a place now, so it was easy to clean up for you to join me here today. I can't believe it was four years ago. And the second thing I will say I is that there's the best thing about doing a City Line segment is it forces you to clean. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. <laughs> so you're going to show us. <laughs> so true. You're going to show us the zones because you've got a zone for everything. Um, and we're going to start with the work zone or the tool storage, right? Yes, and that's exactly the case. I really wanted to lay out the entire garage where everything did have a home so that when clutter does build up, it all has a place to go. So when it came to my hand tools, once I cleaned everything out, I found that I owned nine hammers because when I couldn't find one, I would just buy another one. Now, my singular hammer still hangs very proudly here in my tool hand tool station. And this again was just a really simple and effective DIY project just using some pegboard. And yes, I upped the ante a little bit with some color uh, to fr and framed it out to make it look a little bit more like artwork in the space. But I just want to remind you and the viewers, this is one of those projects that people still ask me about. And that is the cantilevered workbench. Now, this is so great because when a car pulls in, we can drop this down and then the car door can open so it gives us more space. But then when I want to make cool stuff, I've got a great foldable work surface to do that. Oh my goodness, that is such a good idea. Still brilliant, and yes, only one hammer, not nine. <laughs> exactly. Now, when it comes to the garbage, kind of the gross stuff and the recycling, we used to have it at the very front of the garage, and let's be honest, it was, even though it's not that far, it just seemed like that much more of a feat to take everything from the door, walk past cars, and be able to put them into the appropriate bins. Now, we've specifically put them right by the door that comes entr the entrance from the house, and what I particularly love is everything is up off of the ground. So we wrapped the entire garage with slat wall. This is from Gladiator Garages. It's just like a plastic material, so it was really easy to screw through right into the studs of the wall. Super durable, but it allowed us to add these brackets where everything is up, it's easy to access, and again, close access to the door has made such a big difference. And then for all the little bits and bobs, these were all of the things that fell into the bottom of boxes and bins that were all over the ground before. I still have this cabinet that I'm using very regularly with all of my labels that house, houses everything from paintbrushes to sandpaper, all of those little bits and pieces that you can never find if you don't have a specific home for them your next zone LA because it's all for the gardening tools and the utilities well this area was kind of the bane of my existence and that was cords and hoses because when you don't have a proper spot for them they get thrown on the ground or they don't get they get knotted up now in this area again using the slat wall with some heavy duty hooks able to have the central vac hose the garden hose and all of those extension cords that can really become annoying and this area wraps right around into our sports zone so this is the final area of the home that was so important for me because this allows the kids to help us stay organized they know that everything's got a spot when they want to go play outside they can grab their sports balls they can grab tennis rackets it's anything they need and it has its home where it needs to go back to and if it doesn't go back if it ends up on the ground we're able to direct them of where to put all of the stuff again keeping everything up and then last but not least this has been awesome because the golf bags used to fall over and we were always worried that they would hit the car now we've got them strapped in with this unit that again falls right onto the slat wall